Coming up on today's episode, I take a closer look at some of the lesser known games in the original Xbox. Beginning with an excellent port of Roller Coaster Tycoon and the exquisite Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Sound can mean only one thing. Those sounds, however, can mean any number of things, some more sinister than others, but for the sake of this video, it represents the exhilarating highs and sometimes vomit inducing lows of Roller Coaster Tycoon 64 or X Box. I don't know. Games just seem more impressive when they had numbers on them. Except for FIFA, because for all I know, the latest one could either be FIFA for 2010 or it could represent the 2010th game in the series. Both seem equally plausible at this point. Nonetheless, numberless though it may be, Chris Sawyer's uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon is a wonderful theme park sim that just about surpassed Bullfrog's theme park in every way. The game was originally released on the PC in 1999, and console games had to wait until 2003 if they wanted a shot at laying down isometric paths with an overly sensitive analog stick. But logic, timing and demographics be damned, because this game did make it into the shops, albeit in limited numbers, and to be honest, it's really, really good. Not only did you get a 100% faithful port of the PC version, but they also packed in the two expansion packs, loopy landscapes and added attractions, which added loopy landscapes and additional attractions. So you're getting a really complete package here, and whilst controls can be quite cumbersome at first, you'll soon get used to them, and be creating your own twisted death trap roller coasters in no time. A truly fascinating release, if only because it had no right or place in the market at the time. Speaking of games that didn't have a place in the market, Call of Cthulhu, the dark corners of the earth. Uh, if you could sell a game on Atmosphere and Moon alone, this would be the next Halo. But unfortunately, no one's heard of it, and uh, it certainly doesn't look like a lot of people ever will, which is really unfortunate. This game scares the living shit out of me, it's fantastic. The atmosphere is so strange, the people you meet are so strange, the characters are just bizarre, there's something untrusting about everyone. They're so detached from one another. Um, I'll just let you watch the intro of the game here, just to give you an idea. It really has such a dark tone. last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear. Of myself, what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope the game takes place from a first person perspective. It plays now walk somewhat similarly to Silent Hill, but there is a lot of running away from the enemies, um, dark, which actually is a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 4, where you barricade yourself in a room purposefully, lock the bolt at the top of the door and just kind of hope that they don't get you, and that's precisely what you do in this. Uh, there's various sequences, set pieces like that, where you're actually running away from people, and um, you've got to make sure you're pushing closets in front of the door, stop them from getting through, locking the bolts at the top of the door, just little things like that. It makes you so paranoid, but it just keeps you on the edge of your seat like nothing I've ever played, and it's, it's absolutely incredible. And here, of course, you get to see the uh, charming, upbeat tone of the game. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? I mean, that's, for me, what this game is all about. You start playing it, you're not 100% sure, you're not 1% sure what exactly you're going to get. Are we dealing with monsters, psychological thrills? And the answer is, it has all of it. It's also got some uh, combat, or I should say, 
first person shooter sections but you're going to use that term very loosely because it's almost a broken mechanic but you can tell it's deliberate to fit the structure of the game you're not supposed to be an overpowered god you're not supposed to be master chief destroying everyone who steps in your path you're supposed to be struggling and scared and that's precisely where the combat system leaves you now this is where the actual gameplay begins just a quick run through here Again, it's highly set-piece driven, and you'll notice that straight away. Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside Another thing to know, actually, is the AI in this game, which is fantastic. No Especially when you're running away from the enemies, they always... Got the local have scan. several backup plans so to get into the rooms, we and you really do have to be on your feet at all times, it's fantastic. Also there's a dynamic sanity Hang system, on. Uh, if your character no continues to get stressed and experiences bad Who'll things, be like being hit by enemies, yeah, or me, Nichols, basically not protecting yourself, not hiding in a room well enough so that you're constantly being chased after in close proximity, he's going to panic more, and if he panics enough, he has almost like a breakdown, and inevitably that will result in you getting killed. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadow. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. This was quite a late release, in fact, for the Xbox. It came out in 2005. I think the last games may have come out in early 2006. Uh, another reason why you might not have heard of it. Probably all the hype was around the Xbox 360 at the time, I guess, which uh, was probably out at this point. So no one really cared about a last-gen console game. Which is a shame, because this is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to let this run now. Um, I really can't say enough about it. Fish it out. If you, if you see it anywhere, pick it up. It's only going to be cheap. It's fairly hard to come by in the UK, but no one knows its value. No one knows it's rare. Whenever you see it, it'll just be a fiver. It's worth a lot more than that. It's worth about 20 quid of anyone's money. Um, good luck trying to find it if you're interested, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more footage at a later date. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments... I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the elder things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Keep shooting. That's simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. seem to recognize me. I don't get it. <laughs> 